Hello students, so this precise video is about uh, how to analyze uh, a mock CAT paper, right? So uh, look at the sections, VA, DILR, QA, uh, questions typically last year were 24, 20, 22. Now when you attempt such questions, so look at uh, total there are 66 questions and two hours time is there because each section is of 40 minutes, right? Now every section has questions which vary in level of difficulty. Right? You have to build a process memory to understand uh, while analyzing that easy questions maximum should have been attempted and there should be no silly mistakes. Right? So the number of attempts right, and also accuracy in easy questions should be very high. Okay? So be careful about that. Moderate more so in the topics which you like and difficult uh, ideally you should be selective and uh, you know not get stuck. So try to leave. Because if you see, uh, even to get a, you know, uh, assuming that we are more or less accurate, because accuracy is a key, uh, anything like 50 questions attempt with a reasonable uh, 90 plus percent accuracy will take you to a 99 point high percentile, okay, in CAD. Uh, anything, uh, maybe uh, around 40 questions with, with again, uh, 90 plus kind of uh, accuracy will take you uh, to 90 to 95 percentile in CAD, okay. And uh, something around uh, uh, 30 questions plus uh, will take you to 80 plus percentile. So just to give you an idea, right? So even if you have to get a top score, right? And if you are accurate, you can always, you know, uh, leave 15 questions, right? Uh, for a 99 plus percentile as well, right? So which means you have to be selective. Now these 15 questions should be the difficult questions, okay? Or the questions which... Uh, are moderately difficult but from topic which you don't like right so this is the kind of mindset which you should be using over mocks you should identify are you able to choose and solve easy questions from all topics are you able to get a kind of 100 percent accuracy in easy to moderate questions are you able to solve moderate level questions from topics which you're good at are you able to leave the difficult questions uh, are you able to identify them very fast right these are the skills you need to work on because that is an exam where definitely you can leave 10 to 20 questions and still get IM calls, right? It's not an exam. It's like not like a board exam where you have to solve every question, right? So keep this in mind. Try to uh, obviously work on speed, selection, and accuracy. Uh, during analysis, go through the solution properly. Uh, during analysis, try to understand each and every question, the solution, even if it takes extra time in difficult questions, right? But also focus on the mistake patterns. Right? Easy ones should not go wrong. Moderate ones, your favorite topic should definitely uh, not go wrong. Moderate and difficult, not your favorite topics should be left as soon as possible. These general things make you think and work like an expert. All right. Uh, also, uh, try to ma uh, make a mistake pattern. If you're making silly mistakes or you are making contextual question understanding mistakes or you are making you know query based mistakes like finding uh, uh, something in the passage or missing out some information in a DILR set. So try to write down what major mistakes you are making in case you are making those mistakes, right? So that with every passing mock, you become more efficient and more effective. The idea is along with your preparation, uh, the classes and the concepts and the study material and the app, uh, take tests regularly and with every passing test, try to score extra three to six marks. You know, every question is three marks. So one, two extra more question in the next test. Seek improvement, all right? That is where the key lies. I hope you got the message. Attend the mock analysis classes whenever they happen. Uh, go through the solution on your own in details after every mock. And more importantly, take every mock. Thank you. All the best champions.